Good morning, YouTubers. Yep, it's time to do the backsplash in the kitchen. I laid out the product that's hopefully going to get this finished, done. So first thing was to protect the countertops from the mastic. You know, the stuff you put on the wall? Don't want it on there, so... I heard the best thing was trash bags, not cardboard. Because this is just easier to dispose of at the end. Wad it up and throw it away. And then, of course, everybody knows to screw a 2x4 into the wall to hold your, your line. But I, I heard of this. Um, screw a 2x4 to the bottom of another one. And then uh, set it in there. Of course, of course, you can see perfect, perfect offset. I cut it a little short because the, the tiles are that long. So, yeah, that'll... that'll uh, carry the tile flushly over to the other countertop. So to do this entire backsplash, I had to get these products. The mastic, or adhesive, as they say, 3.79 liter bucket, one U.S. gallon. It's type one, and it's just an adhesive. Use a quarter inch trowel V notch it's just easier to spread because the V's cut a V and a wedge of course you'd have to pull that extra uh, adhesive which speaks for itself it adheres it's hard to move so just get the V notch and this is a 11 inch four and a half inch notch trowel the cheap one because these are disposable I think it was uh, seven bucks five bucks something like that the tile I chose was the subway tile, but this has got the ripples. Uh, it'll cast a little shadow or a certain sheen at a certain angle. So that's exactly the one I got. I got all these products from, from uh, Floor and Decor. I hope there's one near you. So to separate this tile from the other one, I chose the eighth inch. So I got a few bags of these. Just don't want to run out. And then after you get the, the tile all set, then you got to grout it. So the grout I chose was black on white. So a black number 10. It's unsanded because the tile is shiny. So uh, you don't want to scratch up a shiny surface with a sanded grout. So I got the unsided, unsanded grout because my tile is shiny and supposedly this grout additive is the sealant and uh, supposedly what I was gonna say is the man told me that this one can would mix this whole bag and I don't think so but it'll get me started and I'll just mix it slow until you know I won't pour the whole bag in and then that and then ruin both of them so, uh, yeah, maybe two, two containers of this, which is uh, 49 U.S. ounces, or that many liters. All right, after you grout it, after you've put it on with this uh, applicant, this is a... Uh, I think they call it a float and when you feel the back of it it's slick there's one that's sticky and I really don't understand the difference of the two but I just figured it'd be um, easier to slide a slick surface over the tile than a sticky one it's just kind of the other one this is kind of like PVC kind of hard and the other one was kind of rubbery kind of you know sticky and then after the grout is all done all cleaned up everything's done the same product, the Kira, same as the bag Kira. The Kira company makes a, uh, a black caulk. So seal in all of the underlying borders and uh, just anything that needs sealed. So that's all the products. Let's get started. And uh, just anything that needs sealed. 
So that's all the products. Let's get started.